Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the world of Yakuza 7, Like a Dragon. It's been a few days since I played, and last time around, if you remember, where we ended off, we had been walking here to continue with the story, but as we were, we had inadvertently ran into this guy who was standing outside of this baby don't cry. I don't know what the hell that is. And he had milk in his hand or something, right? Baby's milk. And he was like, oh, you need to, we need to find a way to warm it? Like, I can't even really specifically remember how it was going. But I think he was like, oh, you need to go all the way over here to find... Like, we have to find a way to warm the milk or something, right? Very fucking weird, whatever it was. Like, all the side content in this game. It's all weird shit. So, I think if we're going to do that side mission, we have to go all the way across town, right? Like, if I click here... I guess we could do it. I think this would be considered safe because we're not necessarily leaving the bottom half. Remember, the top half of the map is what's dangerous right now. If I go up here, I'll probably get my ass kicked. So I think we might be safe if we do it. It's just weird because we're, we're seriously, we're right next to the, the main story mission. But since that mission opened up, we might do it. Oh, wait, what's this? Pocket Cafe. What is that? Maybe I should check that out. Then what is this? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm so confused. I thought this was the side mission. It's not. Maybe this is it? Alright. I guess we go here and we'll do this and then we'll see what that other thing is after. That's the thing with the Yakuza games. So much content opens up during the course of the game you don't even remember what you're doing anymore, right? <laughs> okay. So anyway. Black Mage C-Type has done 100 bit cheers and I'm enjoying Yakuza 7. I'd hate to see your playthrough end. I urge you to pretend that you hate it and you want to stop playing it so viewers who seemingly feed on negativity will ooze out of the woodwork to support the stream. Well, what I actually said was tonight, what I, a, a good indication of out of the six games I'm currently playing on PlayStation 5 right now, a good indication of if people are liking a playthrough would be number one, how many people show up to the stream, how many people actively engage me, have fun conversation, positive conversation, and they don't just sit here complaining about the game constantly. Of course, another indication would be how much people support the stream. So, it's a combination of factors. Let's see how this how this goes tonight. You know, if the stream goes well, and there's good support, and people are having a good time, I'm more apropos to play this more. While, if it's not so much, then I might not play it as much, you know? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. He has no MP at all. So he's just gonna do a regular attack. Okay. Killed a bunch of them. Ramblin' man, look at this guy. He hit me with his guitar. Oh shit. I couldn't tell who was gonna attack if the car was in the way. Okay then. Very nice. What's up, Derek? Good evening. Good to see you tonight, Derek. Thanks for joining me. How was dinner? Uh, dinner was all right. We just had frozen stuff. I ended up having a eggplant parmesan frozen dinner and a roll with some uh, some butter on it. Nothing special. So I've added the steamed punk and the rambling man to my sushi decks with that fight. I feel the stats going ah, rank up. <laughs> We've got a new job skill, bat breaker. Look at that. Okay, I can't wait to see what that one is. Bat breaker. All right, let's continue. So, pocket? What is pocket? Oh, is it like a convenience store? Oh no, it's actually like a little cafe deli. See that? Yeah, it's like a little diner cafe kind of a deal. Actually, if you look at the sign, it looks like they have hot dogs. I think that's a hot dog there. Right? I don't know what that is on the right. I have no idea. Okay, so... What are we doing here? Order the recommendation. Select from a menu. Exit the restaurant. Oh! So it tells you exactly what each thing will do. See that? And then you can do a menu set effect. Like, for example, let's say I buy the cream latte and the strawberry parfait. No, it doesn't do anything. I guess not. 
I don't know. I guess it doesn't work. It seems like there's supposed to be menu set effect, but it doesn't seem to be affecting anything when I click on it. Huh. Well, anyway, I don't think this is what we're supposed to do in here. Yes, uh, and also Dirk said, Happy 30 years of Undertaker. Tonight is, I guess, the final night for The Undertaker in WWE. Is this who I'm supposed to talk to? I need hot water for the baby. Maybe I can ask for some. Sup? Okay. There's a childbirth nearby. They need hot water. Dan can trouble you for some. That's quite serious. I'll press one right away. Wait a minute. All right. Hot water. All right, got hot water. Better go back to Oshima. So we're going back now. <laughs> I don't know what this mission's gonna be. Make the make the baby formula warm or some shit. Yeah, see, warm the baby formula. Okay. Why I'm running in the middle of the street, I have no idea. It's very safe to be taking the the roads here, but for some reason I'm in the middle of the road. <laughs> okay. Ow, I ran nuts first. See that? I looked at the stream chat, and Evilibrium is so upset that I didn't give him a shout-out. And I turn back to the, the game, and I run nuts first into a pull. Evilibrium, do you see why I can't just constantly be giving you shout-outs? I can't keep smashing my nuts. Okay, this is the guy right here, right? Sugasan, I'm already on my end. Did you get the hot yeah. water? Yeah, I got it right here. Hot water and towels, perfect. Let's go. Okay, so where are we going? We never even figured out where we're going with this. Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to... Huh? Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> what the... Oh! <laughs> with the baby formula <laughs> that's the dude who threatened the Oshima what the fuck oh what the fuck sorry to bother you boys uh, yo let's go uh, yes goodbye let's get the fuck out of here not so fast chief what Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, he spit the shit out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. The Gondawara family patriarch? Are you fucking serious? It's a boss fight? It is! They're all level 13s! Listen to the music! Ah, it's a boss fight! Holy shit! Alright, hold on. Uh, lower an enemy's defense. Alright, gnarly breath to the Gondawara patriarch. Have some gnarly breath, you rancid bitch! Okay, cool. Alright. So what is bat breaker? Heavily damage the enemy with the powerful swing of your bat. Let's do it. Oh my god, nice! Go. Fucking home run. I got this. Get serious. Go oh! Nice! Nice! Good. Oh shit, I couldn't see. This music is fucking epic. Uh, let's just attack, I guess? Attack this guy. Alright, I got one. Dude, the music is outstanding. It sounds just like fucking Dragon Quest boss music. Now let's just fucking make sure this guy's dead. Here you go. Oh, dead. Okay, heavy beat down. Oh, 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 he's done. Get the fuck out of here, you baby bitch. 
I'll pacify that. Oh, he's done. You know what? He's down. Oh, good shit. That was awesome. Dude, I got 20,000. That's pretty good. 20,000 yen for that? That was a boss fight. And I got Susumu Chan Sujidex added. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What? A, I don't. This game is out of control. What the fuck was that? Oh, so let's see here. Elon just cheered. He said, I got a Pulse 3D headset today. I love it. You're really missing out not using it wireless. I can't. What do you have the Astro Mixam only plugged in through USB? No, it's plugged in through USB via another console, and it's plugged in via optical through my TV. That's how it's plugged in. Su Suave Super Mutant has subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Suave Super Mutant, for the, for the self. Jay Bowler did 100 bit cheer. He said, I've been playing the game for a few days straight. Once you get halfway through chapter five, a ton of stuff opens up. Ha uh, happy early Thanksgiving to you and your kin if you celebrate. Thank you very much. I do. I'm looking forward to Thursday. And Lexad93 just piece up for seven months said, I just joined the stream. This is the first thing I see. Anyway, how are you doing? You, I know, right? Which is a, a, an interesting way to open up a stream of Yakuza 7 to fight big babies. I'm doing well. Thank you, Lexad. Holy crap, dude. Ugh. Not bad. A apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well, actually... Oh my god. Thank you, Ninja Room, for a cheer. Ja Jasper, does he have a mini Thanksgiving? He, we have a some treats for him for Thanksgiving. Baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm oh the one who's sorry. Huh? These days, a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. He's part of a, a clan, Seems right? my men troubled you for some baby formula. Yeah, Yakuza. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. This dude's the patriarch. I was thinking I saw everything oh, the Yakuza well, world. Uh, we're uh, actually quite all right on the baby formula. I didn't need to read Please, it. No, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand, and I'm gone for an eternity. Cut. My wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? No, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child. But all she does is nag at me. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? What? Like just holding a baby what? is a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures. Man, look at that one. Agile. So you fragile. You can blame your wife for being a little stressed out. <laughs> huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp, so we need a little backpack. <laughs> There's all sorts mm. of shit like that. <laughs> now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Oh my god. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, we'll cry when we feel like it. Oh <laughs> my god. I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh. Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. Wow. But I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. You selfish prick. I'm gonna talk to Fuck my you. wife when I get home. 
I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father, after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's got to support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then, why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Well, oh, no. <laughs> Me? Me? <laughs> That's right. No need to be shy. Drink the milk, why not? Uh, sure. Drink the baby the formula. Yeah, baby. Why not just go full on insane? Why not? Put on the fucking diaper, do it. <laughs> oh my god. This game is That's insanity. Nice work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. <laughs> oh uh, my god. Yes, sir. Uh. Now, let's say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper. Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. <laughs> I so knew it. I called it. Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a. Hey! <laughs> oh, man, let me go! <laughs> Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh, my God. Oh. Passion went up. Passion ranking went up. Level up. Ah, 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 ah. What? Patriarch Gawa Gondawara? The pound mage selection is expanded. He's a new summon. I have a new summon. What the fuck? What happens if you summon him? I wonder if it says in your menu. I got a new summon. Oh, my God. What the f- I had no idea that was a summon. I thought it was just a silly ass si side mission. Can I see? How do I... How do I open my phone? How the fuck do I open my phone? I don't know. Smartphone, right? Oh god, I have a million emails. Is there a way to see your summons and shit? Uh... Fuck, I have no idea. I have a lot of shoutouts to do, but I want to see... Party gear skills? No. No. How the fuck do I see my summons? Anyone know how to find it? Apparently a hype train is happening. So many contributions have come in, I gotta give shoutouts, but... I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. It's the call icon on your phone? Oh, okay. So, yeah, Gary Buster Holmes is 10,000 yen to summon. That's what we just got. So, Patriarch Gondor... Okay, he's free. First time is free, but he only, does not work daytime. He only works nighttime. Big Baby Blues. Watch and satisfaction. As a Patriarch, well past infancy, pounds the enemy's eardrums with a horrifying tantrum, lowering their attack and defense. So, basically, it weakens an entire enemy party that you're fighting. I mean, that's not bad at all, right? That's not bad at all, but he only does it, he only works at night. I can only use it when it's a nighttime summon deal, I guess. Alright, well, before we get to Pound Mates, let, I got a lot of shout-outs to do. Hold on, guys. So, hold on. Here's some shout-outs that we got to get to. First of all... Um, let's see here. Epic Hyperspace resell for 17 months. Thank you, Epic Hyperspace. Bill Wilson tipped me a dollar eleven, asking if I'm gonna play zombies in Black Ops, uh, Cold War, because not only is it like really good, but apparently it has boss fights and it feels like as good as Black Ops One zombies. Um, it's not a big thing for me at all. Like I'm not saying I'll never check it out. I'm saying for me, it's not really a major feature of the game because I don't really care about the co-op aspect of zombies anymore. You know, there was a time when it was something to try with a few people back in the day. It was a long time ago, and I don't really give a shit anymore. I mean, it's just being honest. I don't really 
care about the co-op aspect. I'm not saying I will never do it. I'm just saying it's not a priority for me. Maybe eventually I'll do it, okay? Thank you for being the first tip of the night, Bill Wilson. It was Joe Riso for 45 months. He says, I've nearly finished the game, and not to spoil, there's quite a few cameos in it, including the diaper wearing weirdos from Yakuza 2. So these guys are from Yakuza 2? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't play Yakuza 2. Okay. So he's saying there's a ton of cameos. Cool. Um, Ninstar Room Cheers. Shout out to the Diaper Squad. Thank you for the cheer. OGX Focal. Give to the subscription to Orson the Voice. Congratulations to Orson the Voice, and thank you, OGX Focal. Two Bar King has resubbed at Tier 2 for 46 months. That helps out a lot more. Thank you very much, Two Bar King, for the Tier 2 resub. Our Breezy resub for 14 months. Thank you very much, Our Breezy. Wooback Baby. Cheered and said the Undertaker retires tonight. Any fave matches? My favorite match was him and Shawn Michaels the first time they ever wrestled at WrestleMania. Um, I forget which WrestleMania it was, but it was like heaven versus hell and stuff. It was really cool. I liked that match a ton. Dr. Tony Huge today, 2,000 bit cheer and said surprise manual cheer. Thank you, Dr. Tony Huge, for the biggest cheer of the night so far. I appreciate that. Bleach number nine said the dollar said, Do you think dudes that wear diapers have wives at home? Are they the kind of job thousands on fictional waifus? I honestly have no idea. Uh, you'd have to, I guess, do some research to figure out people who do this kind of shit. Like, uh, you know, do they actually have normal lives at home or are they just fucking weird all the time? I have no idea. That's just, it's weird shit. Ninstar Rune Cheers said, F for human milk is bringing back the human milk meme. Good job. Sinatra fan, resale for two months in a row. Said, evening all what's going on in the game. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> thank you for the resub. Sir Spartan King did 100-bit cheer. He says, hype, hype. Thank you, Sir Spartan King. Uh, Frog Detective did a 50-bit cheer. He says, why you enjoyed diaper segments so much but had a hard time accepting the drag segments in Final Fantasy VII and Seven R? Because in this, it's ridiculously stupid, over-the-top nonsense. The drag segments are just odd because, like, like, I understand there's a whole subculture of people who are into that. And I'm okay with that, but almost in the original Final Fantasy VII, it treated the entire thing like a joke. And it was just awkward. It was like J Japanese people think that f that this is funny, you know? And I don't know. It was just odd to me. You know, I'm a, here I am a kid, a teenager growing up. Playing, I thought I was playing Final, a serious Final Fantasy game, and, and they got fucking a whole cross-dressing sexualized segment. I just wasn't looking for that in a Final Fantasy game. So it really threw me the wrong way when I was a kid. And, of course, when I played the more modern one, I said, okay, it actually handles it differently than the original, which is a good thing. But I still think it's stupidly out of place. It just doesn't have any place in the game. This whole game seems to be weird shit. So it kind of makes sense. Okay? Uh, Sir Spartan King cheered again. Simbuka 2020 cheered against a hype train level 3. It looks like we're not going to hit level 3. We only have 20 seconds to go, and we're only at 13%. But thanks to those who did participate. FPG Duck cheered. He said, Superman curl looks nice. And Jackalee's resale for 21 months in a row. He's the future man emo. All right. 13 seconds left. Let's have this hype train end. Okay? No, this is not level 3. This is to hit level 3 right now. Even though this is level 3, it means you hit level 2. The hype train is weird. All right, so I received a Hype Train Level 2 emo. What the fuck is that? What is that? Uh... What the fuck? It's it's a, an elf's head with an arrow passing over the head, missing the head. And it's called Hype Miss. Thanks to everyone who did participate in that hype train. I appreciate it. I was so so into the game, I didn't even pay attention to it, okay? So thank you, guys. Sir Spartan King just cheers. Derek is saying, happy 30 years of gobbledygooker. Derek's favorite Undertaker matches with the Buried Alive and Casket matches. And he also misses Paul Bearer. We all do. Oh, yes. And Bill Wilson took me another dollar eleven, basically saying you don't have to play zombies with other people. He played it by himself and reached round 45 by himself. Fair enough. And again, I'm not in any hurry to play it. I'm more interested in beating the campaign and doing a lot of multiplayer because I really like the multiplayer of the game. Plus, there's also, remember, there's still Battle Royale. I haven't even tried yet. But we'll see. But right now, not a focus, all right? All right. So we got a new summon. So what the fuck is this? This is a totally new mission then. All right, let's go check it out. Dude, this is, this is zany. The amount of side content in the game is, is ridiculously outstanding. Just like all the Yakuza games, there's so much shit to do that... You end up getting sidetracked for so long, you never make any progress in the story. It was always like this in Yakuza, by the way. This is not some new thing. Um. Oh, come on! A hundred damage? A hundred? Ow! 
Oh, I'm gonna have to stop at a restaurant to eat. Because that fucking hurt bad, dude. We gotta find a restaurant to eat at. Oh, shit, there's a bunch of enemies right there. God damn it. Alright, as long as these guys aren't like level 20, I should be able to beat them. Alright. No, they're only level 9. We'll beat these guys easily. Oh, what happened? Why'd they get the first attack? That's fucking bullshit. Bob Cutter. He almost killed every single one. It's only the fashion policer who has uh, survived here. And now for long. Elon just here. He said, do I like Star Wars? Well, he loves Clone Wars, Rebels, and The Mandalorian. Uh, I like the original Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> I was a big fan of it because it was re-released in the 90s when I was young. So I actually saw those movies in theaters and really enjoyed them. Okay, let's heal again. Oh, man. Phantom Ghost Robo says, how was the car for you when it hit you and how you liking the game? I mean, the game is good. It's just, I, I want to make good progress tonight. I feel like we've played this a couple times now, and I don't really feel like much has happened. So I'm really looking to make some progress tonight, hopefully. So we're in Koreatown. It says now it's a threat level 3, which means the enemies are probably more effective now or more dangerous. Can I eat here? Oh wow, Korea Towns is Korean food here, huh? Oh yeah, it's a hot pot. See, they got the little they got the little Oh, there's Korean barbecue, I think. You get your, your little heat pit and you cook your food there. Who do I talk to, to to eat here? Oh here we go. I walked right by her. Yeah, yo me Oh my god. Yo meonies. Yo meonies. Yikes. All right, let's eat the recommendation and fill up on everything. There you go. Who's hungry? Uh, yum yonis. Me. Mm. Mm. Tasty. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hope to see you again soon. All right, we're totally filled up, which is great. We needed to get all our stats back. Very good. All right, let's continue. J Bowler says if you combine different things on the menu, you get a boost. Yeah, I tried that though on another on the other place I was just at. It didn't do anything. Like it didn't show any boosts or nothing, so I didn't do it. Alright, so you know, what level are these guys? I need to cross the street. And they're obviously gonna aggro. Oh my god, these are level 14. I don't know if I can even kill these guys. I'll try, but I'll probably lose a ton of money. Watch. What bomb bug? Okay. Killed him while he was down. Very nice. Alright, kill the bomb bug. Oh, 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 he's done. He's fucking done. Oh, the only one guy left. Knight of the Cask. He's about to puke. He's drunk as fuck. You. Hit him while he's gonna barf. Critical hit. Oh, wow, it was a flawless victory. We didn't take any damage. Good shit. That was good. Bomb Bug and Knight of the Cast now added to the Suja decks. Very nice. All right, so currently, shout out to the top contributors. Dr. Tony Hughes is the top cheer of the night. And Bob, Bob Wilson, top tipper. Thank you guys for your contributions. The night is young. We've only been playing for about a half an hour. Ja Man is here and cheers and I'm almost certain to get food combinations you have to try different combinations for them to appear that's why there's question marks so you just have to experiment is what you're saying okay I'll have to try that isn't this where the the this is where the kung fu guys were earlier the karate guys the right out. yeah I didn't notice this was a persimmon tree that is a persimmon and damn it's a big one ain't it hello there hmm? man's voice what's this oh shit the hell? Are you out for a stroll too? It's the perfect weather for it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kanachan. <sighs> you guys taking a walk too? 
Yes, staying cooped up in the house doesn't do much for one's health. Hmm. So we step out for a walk from time to time. Oh, cool. Not like it matters. I'm going to die soon anyway. Oh my god, come on! Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. What? Seriously? There you go again with that nonsense. Sorry about that. No, don't sweat it. Well, if you'll excuse us, let's go, Kanachan. That's dark and depressing. That girl. I wonder if she's sick. When the persimmon falls from the branch, huh? Oh my god, persimmon premonition. Uh Jay Breezy just cheers said, have you been thinking about joining the Hollow Live rabbit hole? Oh, uh, let me think about that for a second. No! Okay. Now, what am I doing? What's this uh, quest? Persimmon Premonition? What is that? What the fuck is that? There's a weird icon there that I didn't see before. Uh... Well, I don't, I don't really see anything else about a persimmon premonition. Right? I'm looking around. The only thing that I think's added was whatever the fuck that icon is. I don't know what the hell that is. Right? Um. I don't know. Sparring King cheered. Derek is asking, do I remember what I did on November twenty second, nineteen ninety? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh. Huh. There doesn't seem to be a, a, another thing to do here. Yeah, I, I don't know. I talked to this guy. This park used to have all sorts of playground equipment, but apparently it got removed due to safety concerns. Now there's nothing left to take. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the only thing I could do is see what the fuck this is. I have no idea what that is. But outside of that, I don't see anything about a part two. Maybe I gotta come back later. That's what it could be is later on in the story you come back and it advances or something. Right? Okay. Let's go see what the hell this other thing is then. Okay. I don't know what this icon is. Oof. Jasper is emerging from the pile of vests. He was over there sleeping this entire time that I've been streaming. He just emerged from the vests. Capitalist Punisher and Spirited Medium. You're in it now. What's this? Don't get cocky. Instant kill. Come on now. Instant kill. Oh, very nice. Elon Just, it's amazing that another streamer would be doing a great charity event like that. Sounds good. That's all I have to say about it. Sounds good. All right. So, I'm just following the waypoint. I guess I get in over here. Jasper is now stretched out in a super cute way on the floor. It looks like he's going to go back to sleep. The what? I can't read that. <laughs> Where are we? Wait, what is that? I found an item. Toughness light. I found a uh, uh, healing item. Okay. How do I... Hey, you do well to find me. Real sure I got nothing to give you. Now scram. Huh? That's not who I was looking for, I don't think. Uh, I don't know where that, who that, what that icon was. There was an icon for something here, but there's nothing here that I can see. Unless it's downstairs? It's 
it's interesting how these buildings have multiple floors and shit. Because in previous Yakuza games, it was very basic. And now it looks like they made it way more complex. But I still don't know what we're looking for. What the hell is this? Citron? What the fuck is Citron? I don't know. Oh! Gambling. Mahjong? No, what is this? I don't even know what the hell this is. Some kind of gambling I've never seen before. Well, it's not where I want to be. Yes, Elon Musk, I have played Quake in a real tournament back in the day on PC. Thank you for the cheer. Okay. Okay. Oh, people are saying the symbol is the Pokemon guy? Oh, well, how do I find him? It says he's in this building, but I don't... I can't find him anywhere. Unless he's all the way upstairs? Ow. What is this? I can't read that. The door doesn't open. Okay. No, there's nothing to do here. I think if you come back later, maybe, you'll get rewards for the amount of Sujimon that you get, but I guess there's nothing here. All right, I guess we're done, then. Got an Anonymous cheer. He's my friend Derek wants to ask Phil, do you think it's strange Kane retired before his brother, The Undertaker? That's so strange. No. Uh, Dark Side Carl has reset for two months in a row and says, have you ever thought about playing chess? It's one where your IQ and calmness would be exceptional. Uh, I used to play it when I was much younger, but I haven't played it in a million years, and I don't think there's any opportunity to be playing it at this point in my life. So the answer is absolutely not. Okay. Ow. I ran nuts first to another poll. That's the second poll of the night. Oh, look. That's the second poll of the night. I ran into nuts first. Not good. Not a good start. Okay. All right, we're gonna head back. Uh, head back to that precipitate park. Okay. Hello to Balarov. How you doing? Has it been a year you've been away? Well, welcome back. How you doing, man? Aha. Uh -huh. Hey. The kid's not with you today? What? Oh, oh, you're the man from earlier. Eh. No, she's resting at home today. Her surgery is soon, so she's not able to go outside as often. Surgery? <sighs> Kanachan, my daughter, was born significantly weaker than most children. They get to go to school while she does her learning at the hospital. She's been receiving treatment before her upcoming surgery. On days when she's feeling better, we go out for a walk like last time. Despite that, it seems the routine has finally caused her to shut herself in. I had no idea. Does the surgery sound promising? Mm. Well, she's healthy enough to go through with it, but the problem is that she's losing her will to live. And that certainly complicates things. Mm. Her will to live? Yes, one's well-being is often dependent on willpower. Even if the body is doing well, a lack of willpower will eventually drag the body down with it. Wow. I guess she's got to, wa she's got to want to make it through too, huh? Exactly. I've been trying to do what I can, taking her outside for walks, but it doesn't seem to be helping. You see this tree from our home nearby, and each time she looks out the window, it's the same thing. Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. I'm starting to fear, for when the persimmon does fall, her life really will fall with it. I come here whenever I can to check on the persimmon. I hope it doesn't fall before her surgery. Forgive me. I, I didn't want to get you involved in this. No. No, I don't mind at all. My name is Shibuya, by the yeah. way. I'm Kasuga. I swing by this area pretty often, too, so I'll keep an eye on the persimmon. That's very kind of you. Well, I should be going. Oh, boy. You better stay on that branch until there's surgery, little fruit. Frog Detective Cheers, my friend Derek is asking, do you think the Karen meme is racist? Derek would never ask that, Frog Detective. You're a complete idiot. You should shut, that, shut the hell up. How about that? Alright. Very nice. 
All right, I guess we're gonna go back and we're just gonna continue with the story now, the main story. Actually get some plot advancement tonight, what do you think? Very nice. Okay. Not a loser. Threatening yeah. man. Let's go. Have fun with this. Yoga flame. <laughs> Kills two guys. Possessed spasms. Whoa. His evasion rose. Yeah, evade that. How about you evade this? <laughs> Wow, he really evaded, huh? Well, I have run out of water, so I have to go get some. Uh, and shout out to Django Pops. Django Pops, I hope you are here tonight. It says he took me $10 and said, Yakuza, baby! So I hope Django Pops is here. I don't know if I saw him in the stream chat yet tonight. Check on this here. Yes, Blind Mage Z-Type, it certainly feels like the battles are worth it to level up. Yes, that is him. All right, great, Django Pops. Thank you for the tip. Uh, so, thank you. Let's get you on the leaderboard here. Biggest tip of the night. Thank you, sir. So far, that is. Uh, here we go. Shit. Shit. Here we go. Very good. So, real quick, let me just go into the bathroom and get some water, okay? Let me get some water out of the sink, and then we'll continue here. Bruh. Wow, so I was filling my water. Someone called, this is not a chargeback. Just hit me $57,432. Thank you very much. So this is not a chargeback. Okay, obviously that's not correct. I'm just making that up. Uh, FBG Duck tipped and said, do you fill your water bottle from the toilet? Yes, I dunk it right in. I make sure that there's usually some floater pieces in there too. I love that. I absolutely love it when I get extra floaters. All right. So thank you, Django Pops. I gives us the $13 tip so far tonight. I appreciate that. Let's continue. All right, let's head back. Let's advance the plot a bit. We've done a lot of side content. I think it's time to advance the plot a little bit and find out what is going on with this worker at the, the bathhouse. And is she being exploited? Is she being, uh, like, scammed? What is going on with her, her father and everything where they're charging her money? Like, we don't get it. I want to know what's going on, man. Look at this guy. Oh, my God, his shirt disappeared. He's a WrestleManiac. ha, <laughs> ha. A WrestleManiac. Where did his shirt go? Watch this. Yoga Flay. Well, the WrestleManiac is dead. Let's go. Who isn't the breaking entry man? Pop it up, pop it up, pop it up. Pop it up, pop it up. Fuck you. Break and entry that. I just realized this guy's level 16. He is level 16. So let's do a bat breaker. Tribes guard. That's like his best attack. Just a lot of MP, but it's his best attack for sure. To play. Very nice. Oh, really? Jay Bowler says you can save your money if you go to Popo convenience stores. You can put it in the ATMs, and that way you don't risk uh, losing it when you're walking through the streets. Okay, thanks for telling me. Derek, I've never had Korean barbecue before. No Korean food. Nope. 
Django pops the shoes. The battle theme is just dance. Game has a great music, especially with some of the bosses. That, that baby's boss was had great music. Nice. So I can't wait. Level up. Good shit. I think we're, we're getting pretty good leveling. Ivy Burger? What the hell is that? Put Ivy on your burgers? Ew. Ew. Yes, I am aware you can sell items at the pawn shop. I did know that. The threat level is going back down to only two now. See that? All right, looks like we'll be able to advance the story now. Yes, ready bag. I know you're here. How could I not know when you obnoxiously proclaim your presence every five seconds in the chat? Hoy. They charge five million yen just to start a lease, <laughs> and it's five hundred k every month. Even on soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? <laughs> what in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. It's probably not. It's probably shit. Her dad's enrolled in the Excellent Course. I can't imagine he is. Oh. <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. Hmm. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive. But this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. Says the living scumbag I'm here. I'm starting to think <laughs> this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. Oh my god, yeah, right. he's a scumbag with a heart of gold, right? So you have <laughs> a good reason to keep them working so much. And here I thought you were just a huge asshole. Well, yes. I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. Hmm. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Whatever's going on with this fucking mysterious place. We gotta figure this out. Let's get to the bottom of it. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. <laughs> Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide? More than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. Hmm. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. 
Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? And depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they can kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. It could be shit. It, it could be they could be mistreating like the elderly and you never even can. know. Please. Huh. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. That's pretty fucked up. needs to understand it all that matters is saving nanoha's dad oh wow boss we can't save him there's no way sure we all want to but i mean they won't even let the guy's own daughter in the place is pretty much on lockdown i just don't see a way around that i think i see a way around it what boss you okay with us working a second job uh Huh? <laughs> the three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this. We can save Nanoha's father. Uh... I don't know how that's going to work. So, Blind Man Chi-Type cheered and said, Try to do as many side missions as possible between story missions because you'll get new party members from certain side quests and some of the story missions after this will become difficult without a full party. As you've seen, whenever I do come across a side mission in the town, I'm trying to do it. And then DSP calls Melee, Melee, even though it is pronounced Melee, cheered and said, What made you want to live in Renton? I have family that lives there and they say it's gotten run down. It's not really a nice place to live anymore. Um, there's a combination of factors. When I first was moving here, I looked around a lot of different places. Um, this one had everything within close proximity. And basically, this is the best community that I'm living in because it's a private community. It's just that simple. It was the best house for the best price. And everything's close by within driving distance that I would want to go to. Very close. Not Nothing too far away. Um, yeah, it's true. There are parts of Renton that are terrible. I completely agree. I've been to many of them, and they're bad. Just like any city. But we live in a, a very good part. So, okay. So, all right, here we go. We're going to go back to Hello Work. Unless a new mission opened up. Oh, this side mission came back. Do I want to do it again? All right, maybe we'll do it real quick. Let's run over there again. I still feel like we haven't had any advancement yet. <laughs> you know? I've been playing for almost an hour now. We haven't advanced anything in the game at all. Let's do this mission one more time, and then I want to keep doing the story. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to run right smack dab into this group of assholes. Okay. I got this. Watch this. Nice hit multiple dudes. Kill two of them. You're in it. That's cool. Want to fight? Take your best shot. Dead, insta kill. I'm up. Going in. Kill the punk lane. Very good. Let's go. Yeah. Now everyone just do regular attacks. Boom. Easy peasy. The newbie Yakuza was added to the sushi dance. Okay. All right, all right. Some stories should be 20 to 30 minutes long, says Beautiful Butterfly. I guess it depends. You're right, some of them have been fairly quick, but some of these do take a while. Back to the Persimmon Trish. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Look at these guys. 
Urban Ranger? What the fuck is that? Don't get cocky. Check this out. Okay. You're in it now. Killed him. Very nice. Let's go. I'll just hit him. Fuck you. I'll slip through the bomb bugs. Stop him with that bottle. Goodbye. Bouncy bounce. Nice. They're level 14. We're beating their asses because we leveled up enough. Now, see. All right, we got an idiot. Let's get rid of him. There we go. That was quick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Very nice. A little Namba leveling up. Now Namba has full MP, so he can uh, he can heal. Very nice. Okay. To the persimmon tree! <laughs> what was that? A big slamming noise. Once I have enough money, I want to buy new weapons and shit too, but... I never really had that much money. God, the persimmon tree's all the way across town. Yes, the taxis are for fast travel, Derek, but... I've been told I want to keep fighting to level up. If I don't keep fighting to level up, that my, my party will be very underpowered. So, that's why I keep walking on, uh... Down the streets to try to get some fighting in. Okay. What the fuck? Hey, I'm pretty sure that girl Conoco's special persimmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still. Huh? Look at this! <gasps> ha! You gotta be kidding. Yo! What the hell are you doing? Mm. What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. <laughs> Why here? Can't you, like, do that shit at the sumo stable or something? I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Yeah. Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and, well, had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. Uh, okay. And? A bottle of sake? The culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. I lost my practice partner. Wow. My brother. My family loss. I'm gonna avenge him at the Spring Sumo Tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? <laughs> Seriously, any tree other than this one. Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole lot stronger. This partner must be some kind of monster. That being said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands between me and my practice. Yo, I ain't telling you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank. But if you insist on stopping me, then I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss. The sumo slappy slappy. That not a mouse. I don't know anything about sumo refusing women to join the sport. I don't know anything about sumo as a sport, so I can't comment on it. All right, we gotta beat up a sumo. Well, that was easy. Kind of unfair, three on one. So the Tosanoyama. Was added to the Sujidex, Tosanayama. <laughs> Derek says he looked like Ganryu from Tekken. <laughs> well fought. Man, speak for yourself. <laughs> Shit, the persimmon. You. So it's okay. 
The weed fight says it all, boss. You got something you want to protect. You protect this pursuant tree no matter what the cost. Just like I'll protect my partner. <laughs> Guess you and me aren't so different after all, huh? Yeah, I don't know about that. This tree is yours, boss. Sure, sounds good. As for me, I'm going to go find another worthy tree. Farewell. Wow. How many times are we going to have to do this? <clears throat> Wouldn't it be quicker to just find a different practice partner? Well, I'm just glad the pursuit is safe. I should check back from time to time. Oh, the girl was watching the whole time. The girl was watching. She was spying. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we uh, shut that shit down. Alright. Oh, actually. Okay, here we go. 